Yo, what's up guys? It is better welcome back to today. It's Sheffield Wednesday versus Peterborough United. Obviously, I'm in Paris, so I'm gonna be watching on the TV. I can see right now the players have come out. We're about to start kickoff, so yeah, I'm just gonna give a quick little preview. I know Bannon and Windass are both on the bench, so mm, I don't know. A lot of people didn't want Bannon to start, and I can I could I could kind of see it, but I did kind of want Bannon to start. I think Bannon is a great player. Also, Windass as well. I don't know why he's not starting, but I mean, I guess we'll see. Darren has his reasons for making changes like this, so we'll have to see what happens if Wednesday win or draw. I'm hoping for a win today. Hope for a hmm, gonna say a 2 1 win for Wednesday, but who knows? Peterborough, are a very, very good side. I predict them to finish second, so it very well could be a draw or a loss today. Who knows? But they did lose 2 0 to Plymouth on the weekend, so. You know, anything could happen. Anyway, guys, here's the lineups. Right, guys, in the in the team, we've got Stockdale in goal, James and Johnson as our wing-backs, Hennigan, Palmer, Ehequa as our centre-backs, Volks, Backinson and Byers in the midfield, and Patterson and Gregory up top. So, it's a, yeah, the team is not as the greatest it could be, in my opinion. Substitutes, we've got Dawson in goal, Iorfa, Azanir and Delibishu, Bannon, Windass and Sal. So, yeah. A lot of them, um, I definitely would have started Delibishu, Bannon, Windass, mm, probably, maybe I offered, no, probably not actually. Uh, but yeah, so three first team players who I think are better than the ones we got in this lineup on the bench. But as you can hear, kick off. Let's go and watch the match. Come on, Wednesday. Oh! oh. 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 Six minutes in, that's cheeky. Repeat a ports mode. in Shin Hai. Yeah, that was dodgy. That He's got in Shin Hai. I don't Peter, care. Right? That was dodgy. That was dodgy. It's got to be yeah, at, no, least, that's in, at least that's a in yellow. Print, that's an orange. That's at least a yellow. Take him off. Come on, I mean, if Rhys James has been sent off, that's at least a yellow. Oh, yes. It's a yellow. So we've just brought off buyers. For Dominic, I offer. I don't even know. I have no idea what's going on. Obviously, Byers is fuming. That, I'd be fuming. Why is he brought off Byers? The referee! He's just booked Jamie Smith, the our assistant manager. Like, what is going on? This ref is garbage. Ow! <laughs> oh. Ow! Oh. 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 oh my goodness, you busting about for. Right, on, second half. Come on, Wednesday. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was so close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go on, this yeah, yeah. Get on, John. Get yellow. <laughs> Go on. Oh, two. Oh. Oh. Red, 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 red. Sir Paul, come oh. on, use your eyes. Oh, he's giving a corner. Who was that? Was that bold? Jesus, man, that save is that something is else. That was a good save. Oh, Jesus. Second time, man. Stockdale keeps coming out and missing the ball completely, leaving the goal completely open. Uh, oh, you just knew that was going to happen. That's such poor defending again. Like... It's so easy. How they get a free header inside the six yard box? It's the same as the Portsmouth match, man. Hennigan lost his man completely. Palmer's on his arse. Oh, they're, they're all useless at the back, man. Oh, with a pat of smash again. Oh, get out, man! Why is that goalkeeping and defending? Everything. What's going on? <laughs> Yes, guys, 2-0 loss to Peterborough. It is pretty disappointing, if I'm being honest. Um, obviously, 
we're always doomed to be disadvantaged after the red card. But it wasn't a great performance, if we're being honest here, guys. Obviously, there was a lot of effort put in by the boys. We got to respect that. But in, in general, the performance was very poor. Uh, we didn't play particularly well, especially in the second half. We played very well, actually, up to the red card. The red card kind of killed our tempo a bit and uh, ruined the flow of the game. I don't know what Darren Moore was actually thinking. After the red card, brought off George Byers, brought on Dominic Iorfa. I did. I saw no reason to do that, to get rid of another solid midfielder and make it two in midfield. It really just opened us up to uh, easy, easy attacks from Peterborough and made us just sit back. It was really poor managerial decision, in my opinion. I mean, Palmer is completely fine to play centre-back. Hennigan, a heck of a Palmer centre-back. Johnson left wing-back. Patterson could have easily played right wing-back. I saw no problem with that. Free in midfield. Gregory up top. It would have been fine, but no, he decided to take Byers off, take Irving and then put Dominic Isle front so Patterson and Gregory could go up front. But I think Gregory alone up front could have been fine if he had the great if he had support of the midfielders, it would have been fine. There was no need for Patterson to also be up with him because I mean in the end we saw nothing happened anyway because I mean either one of them heads it out or the other heads it out. It doesn't really particularly matter, but when Gregory's up on his own, he tends to do a lot better than Patterson. Anyway, yeah, I think it wasn't a fair, you know, show of what these two teams can do. Obviously Wednesday and Peterborough my first place and second place from my predictions. The two, probably the two best teams in this league this season. It's not a particularly fair representation of how they would match up, in my opinion. The red card doomed us. We were actually seemed like a better side before the red card. We seemed like we were going to go on and beat Peterborough, but uh, yeah, the red card really did kind of ruin it. And talking about red cards, their tackle, their, 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 their yellow, Mm, it is dodgy. If you look at it in slow mo, pause it a few times, like like VAR do in the prem. That would have been a red. I tell you what, in the prem, that probably would have been a red. And yeah, he's, he's jumped in, two feet off the ground, you know, above the ankle or on the ankle. Doesn't particularly matter. It's a red card. It's got to be. And he goes in with a scissor tackle. It's 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 just it's so reckless, so dirty. Yeah, on a counter attack as well for Gregory. Like, you know what I mean? It's but it, it is what it is. We move, guys. We move. Obviously, our red. I get why it was a red. The, the the foot from Rhys James was so high in the air. It was ridiculous. Yeah, less less much less intent than the one on on Gregory, in my opinion, because Rhys James obviously didn't mean to, mean to kick him like that. But when your feet's that when your foot's that high in the air, you're gonna get sent off. But anyway, guys, it's it's just disappointing, if I'm being honest. It's really, really disappointing. We definitely could have got something from this match if, if we had 11 men throughout the whole game. I de I believe so. A point at least we would have got from this game if we had if we had 11 men. Just disappointing, you know. Five goals conceded this season, all from headers, all from the right-hand side, our left-hand side. It's Johnson. Johnson, always, at the same time. He, he just lets him cross it, it but... You know that's what happened. That's that's the that's the risk we run when we play three at the back, and when the three at the back can't, you know, get away, crosses into the box, we're gonna suffer. And people know our weakness. We need to sort it out, Darren. You need to sort it out. You said you sorted it out after the Portsmouth match. It looked fine and dandy for MK Dons and Charlton, but it's not sorted. We've just seen two goals identical to the three we saw at home against Portsmouth. It's bloody diabolical it just hurts to watch because it's the same stuff every time but you know ran over i'll just accept the loss congratulations peterborough fans looking forward to you coming down to our ground see if you can bring as many as us i bet you can't but you know fair play to the Wednesday fans that went tonight you've, you've got to give it to them about what three and a half four thousand fans it's class class support sorry i couldn't be there guys obviously i'm in paris you know but yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Uh, put, put on notifications because I will be uploading more this week. 